I have and I'll treasure as long as I live. And there are many, many more. And the beauty of it is, the older I get, the more memories I have. So I'm kind of superior to all of you young people <laughs> because I have all these wonderful, wonderful memories. But most of all, when you look at older people, and I put it to you, that it's your attitude that really governs the way you live. You can look at it negatively, you can look at it positively. And I can say, oh, what a terrible, terrible thing. I've had cancer two kinds, actually. I've had 16 surgeries, chemotherapy, I've had diabetes, I've had gout, shingles, I've lost 60% of my hearing, and I've been blind in one eye, I have to get part of it back again. But do I sit in the corner and say, oh, oh this is terrible? No, that's behind me. Let's move on, tomorrow's another day, today is the first day of the rest of my life. So you have to really look at it from a positive and it's that attitude that really governs how long you're going to live. Because if you have that downcast, negative aspect in your life, it's not going to last. But even if it does, it's not even a life. And certainly, we should be grateful. And I'm grateful I'm here. And I think you should be too. I think all of us are lucky and fortunate to live in the kind of country we do, certainly as compared to what else is out there in the rest of the world. You know that 20% of the population of the world goes hungry every single night. A million people a day, a day, die of malnutrition or starvation. We have enough clothes, we have a nice place to live, we all have cars and TVs. That's not the way most of the world is. So you should be grateful. You know, I was married for over 60 years. Most of you know this. And I didn't mourn. I was grateful for having those 60 years. And then when my fiance died, after I was only with her for four years, freak accident. What had happened, he most of you knew her. But the fact is, I'm grateful for the time I had. You have to understand that nothing is handed to you. What you have, you have to be grateful. And you have to appreciate it and savor it every single day. But now let's get to talk a little bit more particularly the things that you can't do that you used to do. Because I can remember a time when I could fix anything. I was the ultimate do-it-yourself. I even built a house by myself. So a few weeks ago, I saw that the water was not going down the sink the way it should. I went inside, got my tools, got down on the floor, crawled underneath into that cabin under the sink. It only took five minutes to take the trap apart, clean it out, put the thing together. And you know, it took me a half an hour to get up. Mm -hmm. Because that's one of the things that happens. And if anything goes, I tell you, the first thing that goes when you get older, to me, Somehow or other, they just don't work the way they do. So yeah, there's a lot of things I can't do anymore. I can't water ski anymore because my legs can't do it. I can't fly anymore because I don't have proper vision or hearing to hear on the radio what's happening. I can't sail anymore because my elbow and my shoulder hurt. But there are plenty of things I can do and maybe some new things I can learn to do. Because the fact is, if you take memory, add it 
attitude, mm -hmm. gratitude that I see, they all spell magic. And as Mark Twain said, one of my favorite quotes of all time, in the issue of a it's a question of mind over matter. And if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. matter.